What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more AFK Journey, and today we have a bit of a fun one. A little bit less on the series side, guide side, and more on the honestly just 100% pure fun side of things because we're gonna be taking a look at a hero in a very specific game mode and that hero is Sylvina so if you take a look in your little Pokedex here let's find where she is in this list right here uh there she is our A-level hero Sylvina she can be an absolutely devastating end game PvP hero if used properly uh mainly because of the way that her exclusive works Sylvina gains a shield and blocks up to a certain amount of damage after casting first strike Gives her a lot of survivability. However, when you get it to level three, when a marked enemy is defeated, Sylvina frightens enemies within two tiles, the defeated enemy. That's really, really cool. And beyond that, her abilities are very, very strong. First strike marks the closest enemy in symmetrical position. So a lot like we talked about with the newer hero, Nara, marking someone, she does the same thing. And then she immediately launches an attack at the beginning of battle. So all these things synergize together very well. However, in Honor Duel is where it gets pretty busted. Uh, you guys have seen here, uh, we're literally on an 8-0 run, an 8-0 tear right here. And that's because of this artifact right here, Pale Crown. This one has been around for quite a while. The damage dealt by an allied Sylvina's first strike skill is increased by 2.1 times. So that teleport to the other side of the battlefield, that does a ton of damage. She cannot be prioritized as a target for eight seconds after she uses it and each assist or defeat on an enemy hero grants an additional strike yeah so beyond that it also of course stuns the target that is very good and you might notice something interesting here so oddly enough um yeah we don't really have even a great artifact for her which is kind of like it's a little on the sad side i went through and didn't find anything to actually give her for an item but we did get a lot of other things that are really, really cool. We have ones like grants the ally place behind the unfazed status for the first uh, 20 seconds, which they gain 20% of their basic stats, which is cool. Uh, you can also, you know, try to do like attack speed. This one's here is really cool. And structural uh, metal grants a 30% crit bonus to allies placed within three tiles behind. So... You can essentially put Sylvina somewhere, and then you can have both Salazar and Ludovic buffing her, which is going to be really cool. And beyond that, we found something really interesting. So you know how you have these, like, new trial cards you can get? They're good for, like, one-time use. Um, I picked up a bunch of Sylvina ones. Some of them have some interesting ones, like this Vile Bone Pennant increases the damage dealt by 40% and life drain against enemies affected by crowd control. And, of course, we are stunning the target as well. And we have some more basic ones. And the interesting thing here is, uh, we're going to find a battle. I'm pretty sure you can use all of these cards at the same time. And this might be probably one of the quickest, most hilarious videos we've ever seen. Or it might not work. I don't know. I bought all these in the very last round. So what we are going to do, is we're going to do something like this, where I can actually get all of them placed. Um, so what we want to do is we definitely want you on the battlefield. Uh, yep. Hero card will be recycled after you confirm this so I can put you here. Uh, so there's our first three heroes and we're going to confirm this. And yes, you can put many Sylvina onto the battlefield. So <laughs> I don't know what this other person's reaction is going to be, but um, yeah, four Sylvina on the battlefield. And let's just see if they all get the pal crown effect. If they do, this is going to be the most crazy thing I have ever seen. They're probably looking at me like, Wait, what? That's the thing? So let's see if this actually buffs all of our Sylvinas in this combat here. If it does, that will be freaking amazing. <laughs> oh my god, it did! That is going to be the coolest new feature with these trial cards. Look at this Sylvina. If only I managed to get a fifth Sylvina. Zero, 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 zero. Absolutely nothing was done by the enemy team because you have to remember the other thing that happened here uh, was that when she does, uh, wait, what, what part is it? Is it this part? No, is it, is it the ultimate? No, wait. Doesn't she get, wait, I just said she gets like untargetable, right? I actually can't remember what part it was. Maybe it's after the kill she gets. Oh, I don't even remember. I actually don't even remember what part. I just know that she becomes like untargetable or something. 
yeah, I'm stupid. Uh, sometimes I understand stuff. Other times I completely forget what we're talking about. This has got to be probably one of the strongest honor duel teams you will ever experience. And it's because you can accumulate these special cards. Now, this can be done with Morel teams because Morel is a hero that has a boost. You can also do it with someone like Merrily because Merrily also has something that can use a buff like this. Are there any other heroes that do this? I actually can't remember. Uh, I want to replay this and watch it again. So everybody's going to target in the back. So you can see right there, instantly explosion, explosion. And you can see everybody's getting feared too. So they don't get to do anything when that happens, which is just absolutely disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. I wish we could just watch it back a million times over. I do have to do all my, uh, my events here. I've been saving this one, especially because this team right here has been one of the craziest now this might be what the team looks like but this is most definitely not what happened and this is by far our best run we've ever, ever had granted we don't really rank or anything so we don't we don't play this very often so we don't have a super high rank i know there is matchmaking uh but this sylvina team and you have to remember like this sylvina has probably one of the worst <laughs> artifacts for this like we didn't even get good equipment for her and she was still blasting them out of the water so in honor duel please 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 if you get any of these special ones like you see right here we had a pale crown as well but i didn't get any extra copies of her i actually died really early on uh the other ones like this the morel one you can also get morel hero copies and you see right here i had pale crown and i just quit immediately basically uh but yeah there's some other ones here that you can get these bonuses on and you see i don't i don't play very often when i do it's mostly mediocre but then you also see the dawn antlers one two grants merrily although is merrily in the rotation anymore i actually don't know if she is isn't there a way uh featured heroes uh no it looks like merrily was taken out of the rotation this time around uh morel is still there though so you can do that combo i don't know if there's another one and then of course there are all these uh celestial and hypogen heroes that you can get hero trial cards of you can't actually build them from scratch honestly though this sylvina strategy probably one of the coolest things i've ever seen work in this game mode i absolutely love what it can do it is just a blast to have fun with it and let me just read the skills one more time yeah you can still stun the enemy Blah 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 blah. First strike, get the shield. Yeah, I, I thought I thought there was a way that she actually went invulnerable. I don't know. The fact that she feared them though, that is the big thing on the kill. That that is actually really big because you get this kind of like frightening effect, which just stops them and then she just mows them down. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys have come across any other really cool things. I figured I'd share this one with you because I thought this run was so funny, and when I got all those cards, I'm like, this is gonna be good. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you guys next time.